Hey, be sure and stay tuned at the end of this segment. I'm going to do a short review on how to build this coffin. Well, here we are, segment 26, and I've got some uh, tweaking that I've done, some changes that I've made, some more research I've done, and I'll show you some of those details. And. Uh, Without any further ado, let me show you what I've done. I've not done much rope work as of yet because I think it's important that I get anything that is on the interior of the ship complete. And in doing some research, I saw where for some of these heavy masts, instead of all being rope to, to raise these and lower, they used chain. So I've put in a couple pulleys, or what I hope look like pulleys, and then the chain. And it goes up and goes through the mast and comes out the other side. Now in reality, I just drilled a about a quarter of an inch of the way through and then used glue to hold that in place. And then how these worked is the one with the pulleys actually goes all the way to the floor of the ship and it's secured directly to the floor with another an eye bolt type thing. Then on the other side, I made a, a uh, wooden T uh, so you could wrap the the pull rope around that, kind of like what you would on a uh, for a flag and a flagpole. Made those out of wood, just made it by hand. Put one on each mast. Same thing, so each one has the pulleys and the chain. I've also glued the cover board on here. that covers that wire that comes down from the dead eyes. I'm hoping to be able to straighten these out a little bit. I'll have to do it very carefully because I don't want to tear that off, but it is much more stable now. I finished the rails. I did end up using toothpicks and just filed down the other end. They're about a half inch long and the part that poked through looks like a little spear head or tip I went ahead and left those I was going to cut them off but I kind of like the effect so I've got all three of those done I'm now in the process of making frames for the cannonballs remember I already had glued the cannonballs in place and I decided to go ahead and make this frame and these are just real small planks that I had from another small ship that I had made originally and this one's already glued up so I made the frame so now all I need to do is snip off these ends carefully and then it's just a matter of sliding the triangle right over the cannonballs I'll look at that for a while and decide if I want it darker or if I prefer it lighter. Although I think I'm already deciding I want it darker. So I'm going to pull that off and stain it. I have all the cannon support triangles in place. And you might notice I did put one cannonball on top of this one to make a pyramid. And on that one and that one I left it off intentionally. And then on the opposite side, I did just the opposite, only the center one has the total pyramid out of the cannonballs. And you might notice on this barrel, I wrapped it, the bands in copper. I think that's kind of a nice addition. Another change that I have made, let me get this rope work out of the way, is I was not happy with the rope for the anchor. So there's several different ideas I'm toying with on this anchor. So I could support it up somewhere like that, change it, but I really like the looks of these chains better than the, the rope I was trying to use. I've completed the work on the water barrel. This is glued in place. I put a another chain on it to, to keep the lid so it doesn't roll around the ship. 
I think with the backlighting you might be able to see I have begun some of the rope work. So as you can see I've got three strung here. Two are for sails and the thicker one is for support. And I did find in the book where one actually went clear up here to the bow right behind the statue so I drilled a hole through and then those two ropes go up to a pulley and then that uh, continues all the way up to the main mast comes back and another pulley and that's where it's tightened I'm not saying they're accurate I'm just saying they're in place and they're semi accurate so you can see it goes right up to where the crow's nest will be I am in the process of making some more of the cannonball holders so I can put some here and then work on getting some back to the back cannons that are on the opposite side and I think uh, that about gets me up to date. It's slow going and it's I have to be very careful working around some of the lines that are already in place and that will only get more difficult. You may recall in the movie, I think it was Dead Man's Chest, where Jack Sparrow is thrown into the ocean, you don't know it, and then he shoots his way out of the uh, wooden coffin that he's in. So here's the wooden coffin. There are no instructions on how to put this together. It all comes in individual pieces. And the trick to it is, if you look very closely at the instructions, it shows where these pieces fit. So there are four of them, and there's the exact duplicates of it for the back side of the coffin. The other thing to note is there's a slight difference one side is a little bit longer than the other so you need to put these two pieces in the correct place these cross boards have a very specific way to go and they will match up with the angles and it will also match up there's some little waves at the top so you know which side goes up and which side goes down same thing with the bottom there's a few little waves it's very subtle and then they also have a slight angle to them. You can see this one is angled just a little bit down and so is this one but you can't hardly tell it. So that's the clue is to look on the parts sheet which is G as in George and it shows where they go and that should help a little bit. So what I'm thinking of doing with the little sparrow birds is recessing them back just a little bit so that it has depth and yet keeps that shape. My thought is uh, this is where I'm going to hide the batteries for the lighting on the ship and then have this kind of leaning up against the ship and have the wiring go in the back or the side of it. So that's what I'm going to use the coffin for is to hide that battery. So that's your bonus on the Jack Sparrow coffin. Or if you really want to be supportive click on one of those commercials on the side of the screen and take a minute and watch one of the commercials.